All right. This will be my review of the South Korean drama series Jang Ok Jung. Now, uh, anybody that's new to my videos, I will be spoiling the entire series. Uh, if you haven't seen all 24 episodes, turn this video off now because from here on out, I'm going to be talking about spoilers and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, I did in fact finish the series like two days ago. And usually when I'm done with the series, I like to review it off the bat to get my you know initial thoughts on what I thought about the ending and the entire series as a whole. But with this series... This series had a very emotional ending, a very powerful ending, and I had to digest what just happened. I had to sink, let it sink in. I had to give it a couple of days before I could really give my thoughts because I was just really emotionally torn by what just happened, what I just witnessed, uh, because I was really, really attached to these characters, and it was really really hard to watch in a good way you know it was well done it was just I had to recover uh, cried a lot really very very powerful emotional stuff like I said and uh, you know just wanted to give it a few days before I give my thoughts on it now another thing before I get into the review a lot of people stop watching this series like not just in South Korea but like international fans they just dropped the series because it didn't follow history let me just say that usually I don't mind uh, watching historical dramas that follow history that's been written down but I also don't mind a series that takes liberties with history because as people have said before history history is written by the victory uh, excuse me I messed that up history is written by the victors so Everybody that was complaining that, oh man, this doesn't follow the historical book and this doesn't follow what I know from, you know, the legend of, or the story of Jane Ok Jung. And I'm like, I don't care because, first of all, I haven't read the book. I don't know too much about the history of this, but I did do some research after I watched the series and I, you know, went on Wikipedia to kind of just get an idea with went down and stuff like that and I don't mind that this show took liberties with a very uh, the very well known uh, historical figure and they took you know they did something different with it I don't mind that at all that doesn't make me automatically turn away from a series uh, and like and like I said we don't know if that stuff that was written down in the books or, or what not or in the, in the uh, other historical dramas we don't know if that stuff's real, if that really is how it went down. A lot of that stuff probably was exaggerated. They probably made up a lot of stuff because in, you know, in history, this woman was seen as a very vile person, uh, according to uh, what was written down by the retainers and whatnot. So there's that. And another reason a lot of people stopped watching is because they were expecting I guess a happy ending and they just stopped watching because they were getting you know the series was getting more political and it's getting a little bit more sadder and things like that for me that's what kept me going in the series I like how this series goes from like a simple love story and it evolves into um, something much more than that I'll get into that later though uh, first I'm going to talk about the acting the acting in here was really, really well done. Uh, with the exception of a few actresses and actors that really didn't do it for me. But other than that, the performances were well done. Um, Kim Tae-e as Jang, this is her best role. Like, I've seen her in other things like in Iris and uh, The Restless and other things that she's appeared in. And while I've always thought she was beautiful and all that, I, I always thought her acting was kind of iffy. Like, it wasn't god-awful acting, but it was just kind of meh. You know, it was alright. 
But here, she really brings her A-game. She really stepped her game up in this, and she was really well done. I really enjoyed the scenes with her. Not just the crying scenes, but the scenes where she got mad and angry. And, you know, you can feel the frustration in her. And all these different changes her character had to grow through, go through in this series. She really did a good job in portraying that. And I really really enjoyed her performance uh like i said i think this is the best thing she's done thus far in her acting career um you are uh, in as lee as king uh lee soon he is spectacular like from just from jump street i thought he was great but as the series goes on he gets better and better and better and he just he just nails it. I mean, if he doesn't get an Oscar or something, I don't know what's wrong with South Korea and their, you know, how they do their uh, their um, Emmys and stuff like that. But this guy definitely deserves an Emmy. Despite the fact, like I said, that this show got low ratings and people stopped watching, they should definitely acknowledge um, you uh, in performance as King Lee Sung because he did a fantastic job. I mean, he was just great. Uh, and, you know, just the way he acted, his little, the little gestures and the little movements, I was all into his performance. He was definitely, to me, the best uh, actor on the show, hands down. <clears throat> now, uh, Hong So Hyun as Queen In Hyun, she was pretty good. But I felt her character needed, needed a little bit more backstory. But in her role, what she did, I enjoyed it. It wasn't like groundbreaking or anything, but it was definitely enjoyable to watch. And I think uh, all the other actors and actresses did a good job in here. Um, Jae Hee as Hong Cho So, I enjoyed his performance. Uh, Lee Sang Yob as Prince Dong Pyong, I thought he was. I liked his character a lot, and uh, I thought the you know he did a good job in his role. Um, I guess I should talk about the elephant in the room, the idol, the newcomer, uh, Han Si Young as Sok Bing Cho. Um, I am a fan of Han Si Young. I love Kara, and I thought she did a really good job of, in playing a very evil character. Now in you know, in the books, a lot of people were pointing out, oh, this character wasn't like this. She wasn't so evil and all that. Like I said, I like that the writers took liberties with history or, or what was written down. And they kind of took a spin on it. And I thought Han, Han Sion, as her first outing in acting, was really well done. Like, I, she did a good job in portraying this evil, vile character. She made me really hate her. Uh, character, you know, despite the fact that I am a fan of hers, did a fantastic. I, I mean, I think she did a good job in a role. I won't say it was fantastic because there are little tweaks and twerks that kind of annoy me. Like, I think the evil smile was overdone when she was doing it. I was like, okay, that's kind of, I don't know, I kind of feel like she was overdoing that. But other than that, like, just portraying this vile character that was, you know. That she had to portray in her first outing. Good job. Definitely uh, had me convinced that this character was definitely evil. And uh, usually when idols act, I kind of cringe because they're not really good at it. I mean, some of them are. Some of them, some of the idols are really good at acting. Some of them can really pull it off. But some of them are just so, ooh, it's hard to watch. But she has potential in acting. So yeah, I think the performances in this show were definitely really well done, um, and I enjoyed it a lot. Now, the OST was really well done. The OST with the soundtrack is very, very fitting with the series, and I really enjoyed that. Um, now, let me get into the nitty-gritty, the ending and you know the, the story and the writing and all that. I didn't expect it to end that way uh like i said i like how the show started off as kind of this almost disney love story and it and it slowly evolved into something else because what i liked about this character of um jane oak jung is how she was basically her life was on a line all the time in this show even before she got into the kingdom 
um, her mother's life was on the line in her life. She was born into this very low poverty family and she had to fight to survive her, her whole life. And then when she gets in the kingdom, the politics side of the stuff starts to get to her because the king's mother hates her. Uh, the queen hates her. Everybody hates her. And, you know, she starts getting the favor of the king and now things are getting nitty really you know really hard for her because now the other politicians are going to start to really want to destroy her and that changed her a lot she went from this kind of innocent person who liked making clothes and dresses and stuff like that to a person who had to change in order to survive and that's politics during this era and i like that a lot uh, a lot of people were you know, angry that she became, people were saying she became evil. I, I don't think she became evil. She was just trying to do what she needed to, to survive. And that's a very, that's a very human emotion. That's a very human, humanized act. Um, you know, put yourself in her position. What would you do? I thought that the way they portrayed that was really well done because politics does change a person. And I really liked how they did that with her character, how she had to go through all these changes and even have to she had to do some evil. Uh, I, I would say some of the acts that she was considering doing was evil. But I mean, she almost killed herself just to stay in favor with the king. I mean, if that's not going as far as you need to in order to keep your love, I don't know what is. I mean, that's that's some that's a brave move. And I also think it's it's very ambitious to do that. And I really like that they were able to just, you know, let this character, uh, you know, be human and, and, and let her go through all these emotions, um, good or bad, and let us experience it as the audience. And I, you know, with her, and I really enjoyed that. And the same thing with the king, um, with King Lee Sun. Uh, he has to deal with these different parties of, the, you know, the Western Party and the South, and the South Party. And both parties are trying to, you know, they're trying to control him like a puppet. Because once you're at the top, you're very lonely. And in this type of kingdom, in this type of world back then, it was pretty much dog-eat-dog -dog type of world. Like, really, it was like that. You know, especially during in, in the politics of things. And the Western Party's trying to, you know, control him. And they want him to, you know, have a baby with the queen and instead he doesn't like the queen and uh you know the first queen that he chose she died due to due to a uh, disease and then the you know the queen queen um and han he doesn't like her he likes oak john and he has to deal with the, repli the he has to deal with the uh implications of that he has to deal with the fallout of that, of falling in love with a, concub a concubine that really nobody wants in the kingdom at all. His mother, nobody. And I really like that the politics changed him as well. He became much more fierce. He became much more um, forthright. And he did what he needed to in order to survive. Uh, the queen did what she needed to in order to survive. It's all about people trying to get this power and trying to keep it and what did it, I mean they sh they really show what that does to a person it really destroys you and this is why you know politics are just so it's it's so fucked up in politics especially during this time period you know I, I can only imagine how being a you know being a king during that time would be like in in the Joseon era like it would be so oof I wouldn't be able to take it. Uh, just just from sh the stuff that they showed in the, in in this series, it was it's like man, I, I wouldn't be able to go through all that. I I, I would have just gone insane. Uh, but you know, I'm not cut out for that. And uh, these characters obviously were uh, cut out for that. But you know, I really thought that the the human drama in here was really well done. I was really touched by all the things that the characters had to go through and the ending is very very heartbreaking uh what happens to oh john she had to commit suicide 
and the way that it's portrayed, it, it reminded me of a Chinese movie I watched called Curse of the Black Curse, Curse of the Golden Flower, where this uh, queen is being forced to drink poison uh, by the king, and I. I was reminded of that a little bit in here because Oak John has to drink poison. Uh, they find out that she was basically praying to have the current queen killed. Or praying that she would die of an, Ill an illness or something like that. But one thing that did bother me is the supernatural stuff that they brought in. Like, that really made me raise my eyebrow. I don't think the writers should have done that. That's the one thing that annoyed me is that they would have like these... Um, what do you call them like these fortune tellers or whatnot and they would do like these weird rituals and they would like you know do all these weird things to make bad things happen to other people and it's supernatural and, and I'm like the, the fact that the stuff actually worked I was like I don't know if I like I I couldn't I mean the series was in a realistic setting and when they did that I was just like nah that's too convenient you know that's too easy you know it, it was so weird for me that 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 whole thing with the you know uh the stabbing of the doll and then the queen actually gets sick because of it you know praying to the shamans and all that that was just too weird for me it wouldn't have been so weird if this stuff didn't work but the fact that it did i'm like i don't buy that but other than that though really well done uh the ending is very sad especially you know the tail end of it with the king uh again the acting is just spectacular where he has to you know you you hear him monologuing and you see him you just see his pain and anguish and it's so gripping and sad to watch you know it was really 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 hard to watch that scene that was very powerful and emotional and uh when oak jung dies the only thing i didn't like I, I think the series should have been a tad bit longer the only thing i didn't like is how they didn't show what happened to uh cho sok ben like obviously she was um planning to become the queen herself and get into the king's favor but you know now that the queen had died and oak jung had died i just wanted to know what happened to her I, I, I read up on what happened to her on Wikipedia, but I wanted to know what they were going to do with her in the show. But other than that, I would give the series a solid, solid, like A minus B, I mean, A minus uh, B plus, really, really good stuff. I mean, they're really, I can't really think of any setbacks in their writing that really annoyed me. I think it's a well done series. I don't know why so many people are, are upset because it didn't, it didn't follow the book's directly and there have been other series based on this historical figure so i don't know why people were so upset that it didn't follow the books or you know that the character is being changed it wasn't so happy it's not supposed to be happy like that i mean the name of the title is jang oak jung live in love and that's what she did she lived in love until her very last moments i thought that was very fitting so anyway um I'd highly recommend watching this. And if, for the people that dropped it and the people that didn't watch it to the end, I would suggest watching it again and giving it a different try and, and look at it from a different perspective. Maybe if the writers had not based it on the historical figure of um, Oak John, maybe if they just made it a completely an original thing, it would have been better. And I think people would have been more forgiving. But I don't know. I guess, you know, I... I you know, I obviously I'm not a uh, South Korean, but I guess messing with such a well-known historical figure would offend some people. But like I said, it's history. We don't know if any of that stuff is even real or if it even happened like that. It was written by people and people can manipulate and change things the way they want to, especially during that time. It was so easy. You know, you didn't have the technology you have today and people would. I'm pretty sure would easily believe the winning side. So I'll leave this video off and uh, I am out. Peace.